Okay, from yesterday we are assessing the dimensional analysis worksheet, problem number one, where you have 5,400 inches. If you could mark the inches next to that number you have on the board there. Where's the You see how you have 5,400? Right here, 5,400. You didn't make the right number. Oh. Excellent. Now we haven't discussed the rules for rounding, and that has to do with significant digits. There's like seven rules to determine whether a digit is significant, and it has to do with rounding. Um, we'll come back to that here in about a week. Okay, nice job. Okay, very good. So let's take a look. So I like to video students doing work because sometimes you learn better by watching other students than like me. Why? Because you get jealous. You're not jealous of me, but you're jealous of another student. Um, Okay, nice job. Okay, very good. So let's take a look. Yeah. He's videoing. Oh. Uh, four, five, 102, 103, 104, uh, five. We got the same answer. Did it a different way. Same answer. Nice job. Now we gotta do this over again. Yeah. You don't have to do it. Yeah. Do you ever get like somebody caught on tape like three times? Yeah. It's good. And I can say, but you have to be honest. You have to be honest. That's not for you. You can just go let it go. Alright, so you should be checking your work from the homework as Melanie places the correct answer on the board. That is correct. Nice job, Melanie.
Okay, so you're coming up with which answer? Okay, very good. So we write this up here again so you get another opportunity to see it. And if you see students doing it, writing it, it kind of reinforces that you're not getting it, other people are. What did she leave off here on her work? Did she leave anything off? Two numbers are not labeled. This one should have inches, right? And this one should have because what happens, this is going to cross out, right? This is going to cross out, and then you're left with a mile, which is what she has. So it's kind of like taxes, you know? You have to have a trail for the government to justify. So Miracle did an excellent job getting the right answer here, mathematically calculated. Um, she did err a little bit on the second. And they'll get you in physics on that. Math, they won't. They don't even care. They'll just ignore you. You put seconds there in math. That's kind of the other side of the brain. They're like, I don't really want to be language. I don't want to be math. But once again, you know, one banana doesn't equal one car. So we have to make sure our units are right. Did they fall off? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no... Six centimeters to 36 centimeters a second to miles per hour. And your answer is. That is correct. Yeah. You ever get like somebody bottom paid like that? That's good. All right, so you should be checking your work from the homework as Melanie places the correct answer on the board. That is correct. Nice job, Melanie. He's videoing. 99. Oh. Uh, 4, 5. 102. 103. 104. Are you guys serious, dude? This is going on Google Flash. 109. Yeah. 109. Okay, today's students are doing the Penny Drop Lab from the American Association of Chemistry Teachers. And they modified it by using the watch glass, as you can see right here. So when they do their write-up, they're learning to write what they do. They're wearing goggles because they're awkward. We're using water and they have to get used to awkward situations with goggles. Steady hand, because if you move it's going to fall off. How many uh, drops did you get on there? I got like 27. 27 hours. That's pretty cool.